Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started with a bit of rolling today. So come to the top of your mat, place your hands to the back of the legs and come up onto your toes. So you're dropping slightly off the sit bones, lift the feet up off the floor and squeeze your knees together. Now with your hands at the back of your legs, squeeze your hands with your calves and then tuck the chin in slightly. Draw the belly button in, pull your elbows in, inhale we roll so roll back onto your shoulders and exhale bring it up try and balance at the top breathe in rolling back exhale bringing it up inhale roll back trying not to miss any part of the spine on the way down or on the way up and there should be no pain it should feel like a weird massage on the spine two more just like this inhale rock back exhale bring it up and then last one inhale we roll Exhale, bring it up. This time we're gonna swing the legs out. So inhale, kick the legs out. Exhale, bend the knees in, balance at the top. Breathing in, dropping off the sit bones, extend the legs and exhale, rock up. Breathe in, extend those legs, swing them out. Breathe out, bend the knees as you come up. Two to go, inhale and exhale. Last one, breathe in, roll back and exhale, bring it up. Feet find the floor now, roll down onto the mat. Breathe in, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, up into a 100 position. Do this again, two more times. Breathe in, the arms up and over. Melt that lower back into the floor. Exhale, bring it up. And then last one, inhale. Exhale, come up and stay up. We start pulsing vigorously from the shoulders. So working on the upper part of your body here, tuck the chin in, feel the upper tummy muscles working. Make wind with your arms. The movement comes from the shoulders, not the wrists, not the elbows. Two more, up, down, as fast as you can. Last breath cycle, and release the head, flip the palms. Allow the knees just fall the way they are to the left, turn your head to the right, breathe in. Breathe out, return to center, and then knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Come back through the center, two more rounds of this. So inhale, knees to the left, turn your head to the right. Exhale, back through the middle, and then inhale, knees to the right, turn the head to the left. And breathe out, back through the center, one more. Breathe in, twist. Breathe out, back through the center, and inhale, knees to the right, turn your head to the left. And bring it back to the middle. Slide the feet in closer to your hips, the knees and the feet hip width apart. Breathe in, we press the lower back down. Breathe out, we push with the feet and lift those hips up high. Inhale here, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale, release the spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly, controlled, relax the hips into their natural shape. Do it again two more times. So press the lower back down, breathe out, push with the feet, lift the hips up high, keep the knees steady. Press into the floor with the shoulder blades at the top, inhale. Breathe out, slowly guide the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. So creating space between the vertebrae, Allow your hips find their shape. One last time, breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet, squeeze through the glutes as we lift those hips. Inhale at the top, squeeze. And then breathe out, release the spine down slowly. Controlled, draw that belly button in. Allow your hips find their natural shape at the bottom. Two knees come into the chest now, hands to the shins and gently rock from side to side. Allow the head to join in as well. From here, we breathe in, hug the knees in. Exhale, extend the legs up towards the ceiling, arms hovering off the floor, slightly wide from the body. Breathe in, hug those knees in, and exhale, stretch. So try and get that reverse curl in, where you're peeling the lower back up, or even just the tail, and then stretching. Hugging in, and then stretching. Step it up, lift through the upper body, hug those knees in. Extend the legs a little lower this time. Breathe in. So think high light switch or maybe halfway down the wall. Squeeze the heels together. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch it out. Inhale, hug in. Exhale, extend and lengthen. Last two. Stretch it out for double leg stretch. One more. And release. Hug the knees into the chest, extend the legs out, push up with the heels. Point the toes, hug the knees in again. Flex the feet, push away with the heels. Last time, point the toes. 
flex, extend, keep the legs straight or as straight as you can get them. Softness in the knees always. Spread the fingers. Arms brace down by your side. We peel that lower back up again. Inhale. Lower it down. Hover the right leg off the floor. Lift it up. Left leg, hover it off the floor so you don't have to go down as low if it doesn't feel right for your body. Lift the lower back up, reverse curl, release it back down. Right leg drops, lift it up, left leg drops. So you have an option, you can bend the knees if you need to and you can toe tap so you can have your knee in tabletop or your legs in tabletop if you feel the scissor movement is too much. Drop it down, bring it up. Inhale, peel that lower back. So blasting the lower abdomen and hovering, keeping control, core engaged. And lift one more time, peel, release. The right leg drops down, we lift it. The left leg drops down and we lift it. Feet to the floor. Hands, we're gonna reach them up and over, inhale. Exhale, come back up into that 100 position. Flip the palms, we lift the right leg into tabletop and we lift the left leg up. Extend your right leg and then bend it in. Extend the left leg and bend it in. So stretching away as if you're pushing through something resistant and you can go as low as you want or you can go halfway down or you can extend it higher if you want to. So extend and bend in. Extend and bend in. If you need to lower the head at any point you can, one more set. So right leg, stretch it out, bend it in. And then the left leg, stretch it out and bend it in. Feet flat to the floor, knees are bent. Allow the knees fall to the left, breathe in. Breathe out back through the center and knees to the right, breathe in. Back through the center, two more rounds. So turning the head in the opposite way of the legs, enjoying that gentle twist. Knees to the right, turn your head to the left, and then back through the center. One last time, knees to the left, head to the right. Back through the middle, and then knees to the right, turn your head to the left, and then bring it back through the center. Slide your feet in a little closer now to your hips. We're gonna reach the arms up towards the ceiling and make two fists. Drop your shoulder blades into the floor. We're gonna inhale, lift the hips up and spread those fingers. So hips come up, shoulder bridge, spread the fingers. Hips come down, make two fists. Spread the fingers as you squeeze through the glutes, lift the hips, make two fists as you drop it down. So stretch, squeeze, and then make two fists as you lower the hips. Keep the shoulder blades on the floor throughout and then make two fists, the hips drop down. Spread. Squeeze through the glutes and then squeeze as tightly as you can. Two to go, spread. And then two fists, one more time, spread. And then two fists, reach the arms overhead, release the hands here, relax the elbows on the floor, tuck the chin in. From here we cross our right leg over our left, heel toe the left foot to center, so kind of in line with your pubic bone. Engage your tummy muscles, relax the arms, press the lower back into the floor, breathe in, we lift the two legs up and then we lower them down. So it's really just the left foot that makes contact with the floor. But if you feel it's too much, you don't have to go as high or you can just keep those knees in. So you notice with the, you will notice with the arms overhead, you don't have the support of the arms pushing into the mat. So your tummy muscles are working a little harder. Last two. And then one more time, lift up and lower down. Allow the legs fall the way they are to the left now. Reach your arms overhead to the right. Squeeze the thighs together, feel that twist, loosening out through the lower back and the hips. And then we slowly return to center. Uncross and cross the other way. So melt that lower back into the floor, just the arms if you need to. And then heel toe that right foot to center. Breathe in, we lift, and then we lower it down. So with the legs crossed, you're getting that nice hip stretch as well and then you're using your tummy muscles. That right leg is taking the weight of the left leg up and your core is switched on. And we tap, breathe in, we lift, and then we tap, breathe in, lift, and then tap down to the floor. So lifting up, squeeze the thighs together, lowering down. 
Last two. And lower and one more time. Lift up and lower. Allow the legs fall the way they are to the right. Reach the arms overhead to the left again. Squeeze those thighs together. Breathe into the twist. And then return to the center. Uncross the legs, hands to the back of the legs. We rock up into a seated position and we flip straight over onto our bellies. So evening things out or balancing things out, a bit of extension. Tuck the chin in, extend those legs out straight. From here, we press into the hands and lift the chest into a slight extension. Press the hips into the floor, lift your right leg, lower it down, lift the left leg and lower it down. Do this again. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Now see if you can lift up a little higher, lift the two legs and swim with straight legs. So if you feel this is too much, go back to the easier version of just lifting and lowering. If you want, you can lift even higher. Try not to use your arm strength as much as your back strength. So if you want, just take a little bit of the weight out of the arms. Up, down, up, down. Feeling in the backs of the legs, the glutes, and then your entire back working as well. Last two. And one. And release down. Stack the hands. Rest the forehead on stacked hands and gently massage the thighs by wagging your tail from side to side. From here, slide those hands out wide. Come up onto the fingertips, elbows wide as well. So right angle or close to it. Tuck the chin in. We bend the right knee as we lift the chest up. Press into those fingertips to get your wrists working, your hands, your fingers strengthening. Feel it in the chest around that armpit region. Working on your coordination, alternating between right and left leg, bending the knee in to shorten the hamstrings and the glutes as we lift. And then lower it back down. Lift up, press into the fingertips, chest it's opening up. And feel all of the muscles in the upper back working as well. Lift up, squeeze through the glutes and then lower down. Lift up, pull that chin in. So you're bringing your chin with you. You're not straining the neck to look forward. Last set here and lower. Left leg, lower it down. Okay, forearms on either side of the mat, tuck the chin in. Inhale, right arm, left leg, we lift it along with the chest. Add a little pulse, lower it down. Left arm, right leg, add a little pulse and lower down. Peel up, press the hips and the pubic bone into the mat. So keeping that pelvis strong and steady. We lift up, right arm, left leg, and then lower down. Left arm, right leg, float up and release. Right arm, left leg, lift up and lower down. And then the left arm and the right leg lift and release, breathe in. Opening through the chest, alternating, keeping the length in the spine, the chin tucked, and lower. Left arm, right leg. We're going to do one more set. Breathe in, right arm, left leg. Lower it down, and then the left arm and the right leg lift, and release down. Stack the hands, rest the forehead again, just wag your tail from side to side. Tuck the chin in. And then from here, we place our hands at the lower part of our back, tuck the chin in, and then squeeze the legs together like a tail. Kick twice, extend the arms and the legs straight. Kick twice, bend the elbows, and then stretch it out. Kick, kick, and then find length. Kick twice again, one, two, stretch it out. Kick twice, breathe in, and breathe out, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch it out. Last three here. Stretch two more. We're gonna hold that long position then. Okay, so one more kick, kick, and then stretch and hold. Click the heels, fast as you can. Try and get those knees up off the floor. If you need to let go of a hand to have the arms straight, you can. Lift and open through the chest. Send your hands closer towards your knees. Feel that deep extension in the spine and then adding that click to create tension in the legs, the hips. One more breath and then release everything down. Hands come in underneath the shoulders. Deep breath in, exhale, push yourself up and reach the hips back. Add a little bounce here. 
And then take a deep breath in, reach the hips back, exhale, tip the body weight forward, find your half plank position. From here, we're going to tuck the toes under, adjust the hands if you need to, your wrist tracking your shoulders. We extend the right leg with the toes tucked under on the mat and then lower it down. Extend the left leg and lower it down. So trying to keep those hips as steady as possible, pushing back with one heel, but keeping that weight um, balanced between the hands and the knees that are on the floor. Your posterior pelvic tilts, so your tail between your legs, a slight roundness in the pelvis to protect your lower back. There should be no discomfort or pain in the lower back in any plank exercise. Push into the hands, your shoulder blades apart. Spin the inner elbows forward to feel a strengthening in the upper back. Press into the fingertips, the base of the fingers, the base of the thumb, one last set, right? And then left. Lower the knees, reach the hips back, press the armpits to the floor. Come up onto the fingertips here and add another little bounce. Walk your hands as far right as possible and reach the hips as far left. Walk the hands or fingertips to through the center, fingers as far left as possible, reach the hips as far right as possible. Take one more breath in here and then release. Okay, one forearm in front of the other. Tuck the chin in and draw the belly button up to round through the spine. Take a deep breath in and then send those hips back, pressing the forearms into the mat. One last breath here and then lift the hips. Okay, we flip. So back onto your bum, cross the ankles, hands to your knees, tuck the chin in, lean the upper body forward. And then allow yourself to roll onto the mat, uncross the legs, hug the knees in, gently rock from side to side. And then allow yourself to find a position or a shape that feels good for you. Doesn't matter what it is, make it your own. So closing the eyes over and as you do this, take your attention inward, allowing yourself these few minutes to be here with your breath, Nothing else to do but focus on the only movement, that wave-like motion in the upper body, the center. And notice where your breath is traveling to, if there's any restriction, any tension along the way. Allow the belly rise, balloon out as you inhale. Allow the back of the body settle as you exhale. The arms, the legs heavy, the head heavy. The entire body letting go on every level. And now sending a little bit of movement to the fingers, to the toes. Gently allow that head to sway from right to left. And 
Slide the feet in if the legs are long, allowing your knees and your feet to join. The feet on the floor, just allow those knees fall to the left. One last time, turn your head to the right. Take a deep breath in here. Slowly return the knees to the center, knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Take a deep breath in here. And then breathe out, return to the center. Two knees come into the chest now. Give yourself a cuddle, rock from side to side. Slip the hands to the back of the legs, take a deep breath in and breathe out, rock up into a seated position. Well done everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.